Well, this is a uh, sketch of a generic HPLC system. Of course, we've already covered the reservoir, the pump, uh, the auto sampler, and the column. And today's topic is the detector. Now, we don't have a lot of time to go into a great deal of detail on every possible detector. But many of the detector problems and fixes are similar uh, across different types of detectors. So you should be able to apply a lot of today's information in practical ways, uh, no matter which detector you use. Well, this is an outline of today's material. Uh, we'll begin with a look at the two most popular detectors, uh, variable wavelength and diode array UV detectors. And then we'll take a look at uh, the mass spectrometer as an LC detector. And the third session will briefly review some of the lesser used uh, detectors. Well, slide five here uh, shows a schematic of the variable wavelength UV. Uh, this is one of the two most popular LC detectors in use today. It's actually quite simple in concept and it's very reliable. The presence of a sample component in the column effluent is measured by the change in the UV absorbance in the mobile phase as it passes through a flow cell here. Uh, generally speaking, a deuterium lamp is used as the light source over here. And of course, that generates a broad spectrum of wavelengths. Um, it's usually used uh, somewhere in the 200 to 300 nanometer range. Uh, part of this light goes through a slit uh, and is imaged onto a movable diffraction grating. And then what happens is the resulting spectrum is dispersed out and imaged onto an exit slit that allows only a uh, narrow range of wavelengths to go through the flow cell. Uh, the exact range chosen is going to be determined by the angle of this diffraction uh, grating. And uh, that's what gives uh, the choice of wavelengths. Uh, in many cases, in practice, these are actually double beam systems. And in a double beam system, there will be a half silvered miller, mirror excuse me, at this point that takes off part of the light beam that goes to a reference side photo detector. Uh, most of the light goes through the flow cell and goes to the sample side photo detector. Of course, what happens when a peak comes out of the column and passes through the flow cell, uh, less light gets through to the detector, and we see that as a shift in the signal.